Well, it's Thursday and uh, I'm just walking down the mall and look, it's Gather Round Round, which means that all the AFL teams are playing in Adelaide this weekend. And the first game is tonight, Carlton, Ad um, Adelaide. Hopefully Carlton win, but anyway. This is the first big sign. There's also uh, a kicking thing over there. You can try and kick the ball into, um, you know, like a screen, similar to the terrible one that I did at the NCAA. And then further down that way of the mall, you can make your own AFL record cover. So I might see if I can squeeze that in before I have to go back to work. But anyway, welcome to Gather Round Round. So that's the booth just there where you go in and you pose and then you pick your team and they give you a headline and the lady in there was very nice and she's like, I think you're a superstar. I'm like, mm, I don't know. But anyway, this is what we got. Looks exactly like the real records that they normally use. I wish I was a little bit more awkward in it. Anyway, it's good fun. It's free and I'll tell you what, the city's a bit buzzing with all this gather around business, which I was not expecting. Anyway, yesterday's photo was so awkward. It was as if someone had made me take the photo, but I was the one who made me take the photo. I had to come back to the mall today to get some sushi, so I redid it. Isn't that better? I mean, I wouldn't say it's great, but it's definitely not looking like I'm at a UN convention anymore. So, thank goodness. And now we're just heading to the festival footy thing. Yeah, so it's Saturday afternoon and now we are in the footy festival or footy festival or foot no footy festival. Uh, it's been raining so it smells like mud. But that's pretty good. There's heaps of kids here. They seem to be having a very good time which is good. Um yeah, so I guess we'll see what else is here. Just waiting in line to get a photo with that. And then someone just came in from the sun and took it. And mum goes like, hey, there's actually a line, but never mind. <laughs> but she totally minded, but she's just laughing as if she did it. But she did. They didn't, they didn't change their mind though. They're already there. It's taking longer for them to get out and get it back here anyway. so far this year. It's obviously going to take his very best. Jones! Oh, it's just nicely. Uh, so there's all different food trucks over there, that big screen where you can watch the game, and then all around here is some merch stuff for different teams, because obviously normally there's only a lot of core and crow stuff, and also, of course, lots of big balls, everyone's favorite. Anyway, now just having a quick look here see what's happening because now we're on the other side of the park bit and uh, I think it's a lot of the same stuff there's heaps of activities for kids here and I <laughs> your face in the background is like who and I just said to mum it's pretty good hey she's like actually it is I told you it was buzzing always a zip line always anyway I'll give you I'll give you a pan of the reverse view and you'll see the zip line that mum wants to go on guess who doesn't want to go on it That's another screen so you can watch the game, more food trucks, and it takes you over the rear of Torrance. Oh, yeah. That's our oval. Well, half of it. That's one stand. They, um, that one in the Bulldogs Guernsey before, he actually kicked the football. And mum was like, oh, he's definitely not going to kick it. Oh, he kicked it. Anyway, he's like a pro, I guess. We just went there and got our little photo taken with the cup. I thought it was going to be the premiership cup, and I think that was here the other day, but it's not here anymore. So we've got a different photo. This little teeny tiny cup. <laughs> They've been holding with two fingers. Finished in here for now. I'm going to see if I can get a photo with Jordan Lewis on the way out. But I did want to say I got lots of compliments on my t-shirt. Which is a great promo that Paul did with Star Wars, I don't know, 400 years ago, but anyway. It's a great tea and every time people see it, they like it. They're like, where did you get it from? I'm like, oh, the poor job years ago. Can't have it, it's mine.
definitely not our normal seats. We sit on the ground level and this is our second set of uh, escalators. Anyway, we just got into our seats. We are undercover, thank God. And <laughs> this is... I thought this might be the furthest we've ever been away, but it's not because one time we sat up the top over there, uh, about two rows from the top. And that was not my favorite thing. But in reality, you did a, do get a great view from here. I just like the vibe and the sound better down low. Also, I don't like heights, so obviously I prefer it down low. This is the something crew. I don't know what they were called. A lot of goals just in a row actually it's been pretty exciting also it's absolutely starting to belt down and has at least for the last maybe 10 minutes so i'm very very glad that we're not in our normal seats even though when i first got them at the beginning of the year i was very angry about it look at that right yeah that's where our seats are over there right out in the open yeah, no, Bombers beat the D's and I think 40 points or something, I don't know, it was, it was quite a win. I think about a full hour now before the game, so this is just their kind of early warm-up. So four boys down here, it's obvious down there, umpires running around down the other end, who cares? Now some of the guys doing the, the ground announcing, it's not Jared. I don't, I don't know what this guy's about. So this is the Veronica's, the pre-game, but I've got no idea where they are. it was very underwhelming to have two very small people in the middle of a very large oval with no band or anything behind them. Their, their performance was fine. It was the setup. Now, this, the fast player doing the first goal this round is Greg Anderson, my first ever favourite first player. He had the longest, silkiest one ever. Goal of the game. Absolute you know, start. Back to kick the first goal of the game, and the man we have here is Mullet is flowing just as freely in 2023 as it was when he played 121 games for Port. It was the 1981 McGeary Medal winner. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Greg Anderson. Welcome. Very proudly South Australian. I was going to say, you're beaming. You can tell your pride at having gathered around here. And, and also, the, the, the boom of made it in for the next uh, few years is, uh, is exciting. But just to, uh, to see uh, the nine games here in, in Adelaide, it's so fast to see like clockwork. And, and then, of course, the Bombers one as well. So I was pretty happy about that. So uh, fantastic. All time and grades. Slots them without any trouble. <laughs> Evidence by his numerous personal honors and induction into the South Australian Football Hall of Fame.
water now and pour things down our end. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Wonderful. Rosie with kicking it in. Right. Oh. Oh. Now it's half time and it's a mini league again. But a lot more games than normal. Not a port clearance, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> to the right of the screen. won by about 15 points and it's raining again so even though I did not like these seats I've been very grateful to be out here for four quarters and um, this guy again who's not Jared talking shut up not Jared anyway it is pretty cold but it was a good win and it's been a good afternoon even though we had a really obnoxious um, behind us but anyway it's been heaps of fun now we just have to get to the car all right i hope you enjoyed gather around if you didn't get to gather around maybe next time yeah maybe next time you'll get to have a bit of a gather around all right bye